It's the zookeeper, about to begin his shift for the day. That's too quick, keeping the check on animals. And now he went back to resting. So now the monkey is going to oh, utilize yeah. his time to get out of the zoo. He's kind. He'll not leave his pals alone. Now, the elephant is out. Sleeping, so let's be careful. The animals were moving carefully, unaware about getting stuck in a cage again. What? Monkey saw and avoided it somehow. The zookeeper is out now to catch the oh, monkey. No! The monkey and the keeper kept running for a while now. keeper to fall into the water. The cage is opened. Seems like all the animals happily escaped, leaving the monkey. What? The zookeeper continued chasing the monkey. Until all the animals surprised him from behind. The elephant knocked him out with trunk, and now all that's left is escape. Amazing greenery. They're back home. Do not confuse them for bison, for they are cows, a very well-fed cow. And here's the actual bison. He's been strolling around empty desserts for food. He sees patches of grass and continues to eat them. And eventually he reached the cow's grazing land. What? They were really triggered seeing him steal food from their land. <gasps> hey, idiot! This is our land. Don't you dare eat from here. Leave! The bison was clearly mad. Soon a fight erupted. went bouncing like a balloon.
come with me. You'll have to fight this bison. It's now a face-off between bison and cow. Both of them seem to be equally powerful. That bison is crushing the buffalo's head, and now the cow has to interfere. After completely knocking him out, the buffalo gradually pushed him to the river. Poor buffalo fell off the waterfalls and onto the stone. He's no longer alive. Good job! You may leave now. The cow is here for some grazing. It is her daily activity. What? His heavy jumps did not work out, so he took out the cow on a fierce run. He forcefully meathead the cow. And the poor one went rolling in the air and fell into a red pond. She ended up looking red as a result. She again ended up standing in front of the bison. And he was triggered again and ran to knock the cow out. What? The cow is quite brilliant so he moved immediately. And the bison ran into a tree and hurt it himself. He yeeted the cow successfully.
On a very clear windy day at three swings back and forth. While the cows walk towards the tree slowly and on reaching upon the tree they start to eat. Leaves off the tree from either side right then calf walks and standing right in the middle. Now the calf turns towards the tree staring at the tree and the two cows intensely. The calf jumps heavily hoping to reach the tree's leaves for it to feed on. The cows look at the calf while pausing their feast on the leaves. I want to eat those leaves too. The cow shakes his head in disapproval for this. Sad and shakes his head in disappointment. The cows go back to eating the leaves on the tree. And our little cough has not decided to give up and jumps again and attempt to get some leaves. But this attempt goes in vain too. So the calf taps onto the other cows to speak with them and request for help. Please, I'm starving. The cows look at each other and not to themselves. The cow plucks out one leaf and goes to the little calf when the cows try to take the leaf from the cow's mouth. The cow pulled back the cow pulls back every time the calf tried to take the leaf from its mouth. Finally the cow eat to leaf without giving it to the poor calf and walks away. But the evil cows started to laugh among themselves. A really strong wind out of the sudden blows, moving the couch. And the tree itself with the wind fell down a leaf on the ground. And the calf goes towards it. But one of the cows goes behind it and blows the leaf away. What? The cow eats the leaf and walks away. Little calf is very upset that I couldn't even eat one leaf. Back to the tree. Another strong gust of wind blows, making it difficult for the calf to even walk. As the wind shifts the cop's direction, it finds a leaf's top to the stem of the tree where the calf has the easy access to eat it. But again the other cow pops up quickly and eats the leaf and walks away. Leaving the calf and disappointment yet again. <laughs> Another huge blow of wind springs blowing with the two cows out of the places as they deserve. The wind bends the tree too much that it gets to the level of the calf. The clad moves towards the tree slowly and starts to eat all of the leaves that it possibly can. A happy ending. The lion is teaching his kids how to chase the prey. After all, that is their duty. Soon the lion and his cubs went on their own way. And the farm animals to some other. What? They suddenly happened to see a lion cub. Pig quickly helped him to get out. How did you get there? I'm lost from my dad and brothers. Let's all go and play hide and seek. Go and hide. I'll be counting. The game begins and everyone is easily caught.
I just had a perfect hiding spot. It began raining and I couldn't get out of these rocks. Meanwhile, all of them went home, leaving me here. Oh no! And that's why I'm still here. The farm animals decided to help the cub go home. But it seems like we have some serious bullies coming up. What? Soon the farm animals had to run, escaping the trio of wild animals. The pig offered his back to the cub as they sped fast. We got crocodiles, and it seemed like there was no way to escape. Are they destined to die in the hands of the wild? What? Or they could just run upon the crocodiles and get to the other side. The latter they chose. The cheetah successfully crossed, but his pals were being chased. What? The piggy took his chance and yeeted the cheetah into the water. Off the team goes to rescue the cub to his father. Thank you so much for helping me. What? Without understanding the context, the lion dad ran behind the farm animals. The son had to get in the way. If it wasn't them, I would never be alive. Thank you so much for rescuing my kid. Hey guys! Welcome back to our jungle land. It's a warm summer day. There is so much fun. And a little bit of chaos in the jungle. Let's see what is our jungle caretaker doing. Looks like Mr. Gorilla and Foxy are selling some delicious mangoes. Mangoes and mangoes! Fresh and delicious mangoes! Mangoes and mangoes! Fresh and delicious mangoes! Get some juicy, juicy mangoes! Come on! The sheep, Piggy and Monkey are off to Foxy to buy some mangoes. <laughs> give me the best quality mangoes! Better than you give to Piggy! I want the best, better than the ones you give to the monkey! <laughs> me too! Better than you give this both! I have the same quality and taste for all of you. A box for each. <laughs> the cow, calf, and the rabbit are off at the gorillas to buy some mangoes. A box of mangoes for me and my baby here. <laughs> for me too. Here you go. Both Gorilla and the Foxy are tired and off for a nap. Foxy dreams of delicious and giant mangoes. What? 
my mangoes? Huh? Oh no! It was just a dream. But I wish I could get such a huge mangoes. Idea! I'll pump in some eggs in these mangoes and sell them. They will look big and all will come and buy my mangoes instead of gorillas. <laughs> Giant mangoes! Come on one and all! Get some! Oh my god! Such huge mangoes! Oh! <laughs> Two in my trucks please! Right away! Time to eat mangoes! Oh! It's all air in these mangoes! Foxy cheated me! I'll go get him! Hey you Foxy! You cheat! You sold me air filled mangoes! and deceived me for a giant one. How dare you? What? Oh yes! See it all for yourself! What? No! You cheat! You foxy! Oh no! Foxy ran away in fear. Oh yeah! And all the animals went to Mr. Gorilla. Hold on, hold on. I've got you for all. Welcome to our jungle once again. Beauty and chaos in a perfect blend. The greenery and chaos of this place. Which you cannot find in anywhere. The magical sound of bird which you hear. Hello and welcome. Let's go and get my cattle for a stroll out in the plains for a fresh graze of grass and some quiet rest for me. I have some cows, sheep and goats in my cattle. Let's get going. I'll rest here for a while. While Mr. Gorilla was asleep, a sheep wandered away. And there he was the clever foxy waiting for his time to ponder on the sheep. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> huh? What's wrong? You foxy! Again? One punch from Mr. Gorilla gave foxy a good hit. Don't ever come near my cattle again! Foxy in pain ran away and hid himself in a cave and began to come up with a better plan to get his hands on the cattle. Idea! I'll build a camouflage cow just like the Trojan horse and enter the cattle and get my hands on them. Here I go to blend in the crowd. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? An extra cow? Where did this come from? All right. Come on all, let's go. It's time to get back home. 
Along with the cattle, Foxy and his Trojan cow oh, went in. Oh, yeah! And slowly came out when Mr. Gorilla was not around. <coughs> Grabbed a sheep and feasted on it. My sheep! <laughs> As was the routine, Gorilla took his cattle out in the plains. For grazing and along went Foxy and his Trojan cow. While Gorilla had no idea of what was going on. And this time Foxy feasted on a goat. Oh no! My god! Something is not right. I better keep awake and hide and watch what's happening with my cattle. And there he caught Foxy feasting onto his cattle <coughs> and decides to punch him right away. And there he was, getting kicked by Mr. Gorilla. Monsieur La Lion is very dehydrated. Just like the teeny weeny baby cow. The two variants of the animal kingdom encountered each other. What? And clearly the lion began chasing the baby cow. Ah! He couldn't chase more due to dehydration. the lion and baby cow next to the pond. <gasps> what? To their ill luck, four buffaloes emerged out of the sun and drank the pool of waters and went away. A small puddle was left and the lion and baby cow picked up the cat to fight to have the waters for one second. Here's another pretty button. From a great distance, both of them saw the river flowing. Is it hallucination? Maybe it's just the elephants this time. A load of elephants. The lion. even yeeted the lion for sticking to its trunk. The lion ended up next to a warehouse and saw a droplet of water fall. <gasps> the next droplet of water ought to be wasted felt the lion, and the baby fell, having no water left in the bottle too. What? Both the lion and cow walked. They came across a bucket of water. 
Both the lion and the cat wobble their heads and get inside. After a great hustle, they fell onto a water pump. A reward for that, or maybe not. Welcome to the Funny Animals Zoo. Loud banging music and Mr. Gorilla asleep. Let's assume he's very tired. All the zoo animals feel the same. It's afternoon after all. Gorilla decided to check up on his animal babies. He then sees an unfamiliar what? antelope grieving. Are you sure you belong to this zoo? Oh, Gorilla, it's me. I just need someone to put my horns back. Oh, oh, no worries. I'll do it for you. Thank you so much. I feel powerful. It's the lion this time. He's being mocked by the monkey. <laughs> Is he for real? <laughs> oh my god, look at you! Where's your lioness? The roars from the lion aren't helpful. So he isolated and began crying about the mockery. <laughs> Mr. Gorilla came there to give food and saw him crying. Oh no! Hello, lion. May I come in? Mr. Gorilla dropped off the food and began comforting the lion. You gotta be strong, dear. Now the lion could care less about other creatures mocking him. Mr. Gorilla is taking a stroll and comes across the giraffe's long neck stuck between the trees. Oh no! He got the ax and broke the branches to get him out. Mr. Gorilla, you are a savior for real. Another clumsy animal. It's a rhinoceros who got his nose horn stuck between two rocks. Mr. Gorilla is kinda traumatized. He surely pulled his tail with great force and got him out. Thanks, Mr. Gorilla. You're such a savior. Indeed he is. If he rested even for a while, these clumsy dinos would end up in great trouble. One fine day, a herd of cows goes grazing in a jungle. They were walking peacefully with the good weather. Here's the mother cow and her calf. A tiger spots the herd of cows from a distance and decides to attack. What? All the cows were terrified and began running fast. All the cows went one direction, while the mother cow and calf went in another. The tiger tried to remove the rock. 
while the mother cow oh, no. and calf understood that they're trapped. The tiger gives up and leaves. All the cows hurriedly ran and came to Mr. Gorilla. Wake up, master! A tiger chasing mother and calf and they are in danger. What? Please help them. Okay, good job informing little calf. Let's go right away and save them. I think they fell apart this log of wood and got trapped in the volcano cave. Mr. Gorilla instantly got there and began to think. An idea strikes. And he tries to stick a piece of wood under the stone to move it by jumping upon it. The mother cow and calf tried helping. Mr. Gorilla is now exhausted too. Another idea strikes. He jumps upon the volcano top. Do not fear, I'll send a rope and you both should hold and come up. <coughs> the calf goes first. Mr. Gorilla successfully saves her. Then the rope is sent to the mother cow. With the help of a herd of cows and gorilla, the mother cow successfully got out too. like a pleasant day for grazing. Here are some beautiful herd of cows and their babies. But seems like someone just wants to ruin their peace. It's a huntsman. And he's about to attack them. at the herd and there he shoots. Poor cow fell prey to the monster. All the cows are terrified. Oh no! He about to target the next cow in the herd. It's a baby cow and luckily it missed the target. What? All the cows turned around and spotted the huntsman. They began to escape before he killed any. Oh my! The huntsman quickly took the keep and started chasing the herd. It was an intensive chase and the cows are running for their life. And now the huntsman target. The cruel huntsman began chasing. What? Uh. 
Meanwhile, the baby cow trying its best to escape. Reached the dead summit. She's a step away from falling into the sea. The huntsman sets the target now. But the mother cow comes for the rescue. What? They both began praying to the huntsman to leave them. He's all set to shoot the baby cow. and began running for life. Hence Karma left the huntsman running for life. The cow and her baby are sharing a sweet embrace. Pleasant day for the horses at the farm there. And here's the caretaker. And it looks like he will ruin the day for them. He is going to transport loads till some destination. And he made four horses line up for it. They started going. The horses were able to go patiently until some distance. They have come across the slope and managed to climb half of the slope. The horses felt very exhausted climbing the remaining slope. <laughs> they successfully arrived at the destination and got rid of the load. Never have I ever felt this exhausted. We need to get rid of this man. We have to escape him or we may die due to the workload. All the horses agreed to the saying of one horse and planned to escape the farm. They successfully got rid of the caretaker. He was shocked to see an empty farm. Oh, look at these unfaithful horses. They could not even take load. And they are so useless. I should get a few cows. They will blindly follow me and be so unproblematic. Let's quickly get them. Soon the caretaker brought a few cows to the farm. He now arranged a cart to transport the load again. The cows are perfectly dragging the cart until the slope comes. The cows started to feel exhausted trying to climb all up. The cows somehow managed and succeeded to reach the destination. Then they got rid of the load. The cows are extremely exhausted and provided no water by the caretaker. This is absolutely cruel. We were close to death and we still managed to bring him the load here.
that sick fella did not provide us water yet and he was hitting us back there i think it's time to fix him now here the caretaker comes to trouble the cows again and the cows will not tolerate him they all surround him while swaying their horns and the caretaker looks terrified the cows begin eating him to one another this continued until he was finally thrown away the gorilla and lion groups have entered the dinosaur the enclosure to see the dinosaurs Everybody is having a good time singing and dancing in the car. <laughs> the dinosaur enclosure's what? power went off all of a sudden. Everyone is terrified. Here comes the huge, massive dinosaur who breaks the electric wires and escapes from the enclosure. Oh my god! I need to hide somewhere! And yeah! Found one! Oh no! Watch this! brought the jeep and began driving it to save the cow and sheep. The T-Rex started to chase them. <laughs> Welcoming you back to our jungle. Let's see what our cows are up to in this video. Mr. Gorilla is sound asleep. Here comes the farm's tiniest cow. He feels scared of small things. Mr. Gorilla is asleep. 
so I'll go explore the forest a little. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to the opposite side of the jungle. <laughs> what? These big cows are constantly making fun of me. Mr. Gorilla has awoken from his <sighs> sleep. <sighs> okay, my dear cattle, it's time to go. Let's go to our farm, everyone. All of our animals are resting soundly at night. Our little cow is thirsty. Let me walk into the forest and drink some water. He goes to a pond near his farm to drink water. He gets scared when he notices a large shadow. That resembles like a ghost. What? Oh no! Save me! It's a ghost! Ghost! Whoa! That shadow transformed into a little bird shadow. As a result of his fear, he looks back what? and sees. He sees that the moonlight is making the shadow reflection look like a ghost. Let me use this to scare all the cows on the property. I saw a ghost in the bush, my dear friend. Don't go to the jungle alone at night. What? Oh, please. Let me go and check this night. The large cow visits the pond to find out if the ghost is real or not. In the shadows, a little cow flees to the mountain and acts like a ghost. When the large cow saw the shadow, it assumed it was a ghost and rushed back to the farm in terror. The large cow tells him and others of what happened in the night. His pals say they'll go together tonight to check. <laughs> All three cows walk to the pond at night to see if the ghost is real or no. In the shadows, oh, no! a little cow flees to the mountain and acts like a ghost. When three large cows saw the shadow, they mistook it for a ghost yeah, yeah, and yeah, ran yeah. back to the farm, terrified. They accompany Mr. Gorilla to show him the ghost. Show me where the ghost is. As you can see, it will be massive. Again, little cow flees to the mountain and acts like a ghost. Except for Mr. Gorilla, the other three cows ran inside the farm in terror. Oh no! The ghost! The ghost! Oh. What? That looks like the shadow of a small cow. When he looks around, he sees a small cow acting like a ghost. What? I'll teach you a lesson tomorrow morning, you little cow. All three cows feel frightened and are discussing what occurred last night. Mr. Gorilla shows up and commands all the big cows to shut up. He is making fun of everyone. He pretended to what? be a ghost while standing on the mountain. Tell me, why did you do this? In your absence, these large cows have been scaring me and making fun of me. So I drew this to tease them. What? 
Hey, we live on the same farm. Therefore, we shouldn't tease each other. Forgive each other and continue to be happy. Oh yeah. Hello and welcome to our jungle. Mr. Gorilla has returned with his assistant monkey. What? Follow me and learn how to feed a cattle. Take the grass and feed it to the cows. Come here and throw it in the cow fence. Mr. Gorilla, I believe I accomplished everything perfectly. Yes, you completed everything well. Let's go on to the next challenge. What? Hey, could you kindly give me some grass to eat? I'm hungry as well. Please. Three cows ate all of the grass. What? Leaving nothing for the fourth cow. I'm hungry. Let me go to the forested area and find some fresh grass to eat. The cows travel into the forest and find a magical red flower. Wow! This flower looks good. I'm going to eat and fill my tummy. After eating of that flower, Cow what? turned into a giant wild cow. She changes her looks. And begins running angrily to the farm. Become a giant! Mr. Gorilla! Oh, no. Please come and help us! He hits one after the other cows and farm animals. Yeah, 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 Mr. Gorilla what? is shocked to see what the giant cow is doing to the farm's other animals. He quickly calls the monkey to divert her attention away from the animals. Hey monkey! What? Divert her attention away from the animals. We'll put him in a cage. The monkey will make the cow run through the farm, avoiding her from harming the other animals. Idea. I'll use these barrels to divert the cow and imprison him here. Bring him here, monkey. I've set up the trap. The monkey follows the instructions of the gorilla. The cow tumbled into the cage after being hit by the barrels. Monkey, go and get the water pipe and water the cow. Oh, yeah.
the cow returns to his usual life. After being watered, what? Oh yeah, Mr. Gorilla, it worked. We saved our animals. 